This episode of the Totally Rad Show is brought to you by Jack Threads. Coming up, it's time once again to find out what else is on our radar this week. Back in On My Radar, it's a little segment we like to do where eh, things may have slipped by the cracks or stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they just slipped right by the cracks. They went, did not go in them. So we did not lose them. They just went right by the cracks, staying the course, <laughs> set out for them. Uh... <laughs> It's so late at night. It's so late, late at, at night. night. But uh, but so we're gonna so talk about some stuff. We're gonna talk about some stuff that's just on our radar. Didn't we? Didn't you know? What I mean? <laughs> didn't have time to cover it properly in the show. Possibly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Daniel Trackenberg. A couple things uh, come to mind of what I've done over the past couple of weeks. Uh, first of all, you guys sadly did not keep up with uh, season two of Walking Dead. I said that you have to do that now. You have even more pressure to do. Yeah, everyone that. says it's awesome. Now. Season so three. Sick of, I'm so sick of all these watched, shows that no, I give I up on, and then they get. What did you watch? Did you skip? I saw the last episode of season two. Yeah. And some of the inner parts where Heather like caught me up of what was happening, and yeah. so I watched. Uh, By that, but you know, <laughs> season three. That's Holy. crazy. I've only seen the first episode actually, so I didn't see the most recent. Oh, I saw the most recent. Yeah, I didn't see what? that. What? But did you see the premiere? What? I missed the premiere. Oh my god! I saw the most recent. What? I, this don't guys don't do this. It's the most Watch amazing the show, and it's take a good look, everybody. Take a look at this. Good look. Look at this face. Great. You want to end up like that guy? Just, don't do that. Don't just like pop that uh, on to see what's going on. No, no, no. Watch an entire episode. But that episode. is a Thank testament to how much. good it is because usually when you just tune in for a second, you don't have any. Of the backstory, you don't really, it's not clear what's well, I'm happening. I'm not fiance to say, here's the backstory. I know, but that's not the same thing as experiencing it. So that's a testament to how good Walking Dead Season 3 is that you just popped in and you were like, what? The? But I don't even know what that is. Dude. Any, but anyway, holy crap. Okay, but the other thing that's going to blow your guys' minds a little bit is I've decided to revisit the Pirates of the Caribbean trilogy. I have not made it. Were you trapped it. under something? <laughs> I have not made it. Well, the first one's amazing. The second I, one's pretty good. First one's good. I have not made it to the third one yet. <clears throat> but. It was the second one the one you called the worst movie? That was the one. And the third one I said was even worse. <laughs> right. The second one, this time around. Not so bad. Kind of loved it. Yeah. The key. This is why you can't be trusted, Dan. No. Also, this and well, the fact that you recommended Pitch brain. Perfect no, to me. No, the key. We have to, tell, per, I have to I tell you about, about that. Did you, did you see it? Yes. Because, had, because of him. <clears throat> which is really funny. Go ahead. Keep talking. Well, well Pitch Perfect. Remember Easy A? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It was really funny because I had a. Ne- didn't, Heather did didn't not, like Pitch Perfect? She hasn't seen Pitch Perfect. She oh. desperately wants to see Pitch yes. Perfect. And I said, I think it's going to be another Easy A where but why? They're everybody not the loves same movie. it. I recommend a lot of it's awesome not the, movies. It's not the fact that the movies are the same. It's the fact that... The, what? I recommend Whatever. Easy A and he didn't like it? Yeah. And I, how and many you movies? Pitch Perfect and I didn't like it. But that's. But I've also recommended a lot of awesome movies. This and is you true. Recommended, this is true. Not, uh, this how is long, true. How many so I don't know why he's talking. I know I would never put that on. Okay. You're the one that did put it on him. So you know what I should say? Okay, the answer is seeing Pirates back to back. Yeah. <clears throat> way better because the, the reason why Pirates 2 was so sucky, the first one, I had no idea what the first, who cares about this, that, and the other thing, but having the, just seeing the first Pirates, understanding the politics behind everything, mm-hmm. so much more enjoyable, and I just <clears throat> love that cinematography production design. But let me actually say now, Pitch Perfect is just one of the most joyous movies ever made. Unless you're One Jeff. of my favorite movies of the summer. I wish I could, I want to read see. to you the, the text messaging back and forth. Because I was like, Dan, I have the opportunity to see a movie tonight. Should yeah. I go see Pitch Perfect? De- yes. Because De- he kept t- talking about it. Remember? Yeah, we were, I, remember. Like, yeah like, I remember. You're like, I don't know. It's going to be like, and I was like, my, my girlfriend can only see, which doesn't see very well, many It is movies. weird that you didn't like Pitch I mean, Pitch Perfect is a great movie. It's gotten great reviews. First off, it it's says just in the title, title, it's Pitch Perfect. It's not just me. It's got Pitch Perfect in the title. But... It's not. It's not. You that had it's... perfect pitch, Jeff. Did they not just see the sponsor? I, I don't know if they did, but <laughs> but it, 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 it contains. Not, oh if you went down the list of things that yeah, Dan knows, not I don't like. Your... Yeah. 
It has like, like all of them. Besides Girls the Star Wars singing. Like, the Star Wars yeah, like, thing is horrible. I hate that. I, I, Glee, American Idol, it's uh, not that, all it's those shows those I don't watch, don't like, don't it's care not, for. It isn't though. It is! It's that! No. Okay, so you didn't like it, he liked it. Sea Pitch Perfect. Perfect. What's on your radar? Sea Pitch Perfect. Uh, two things real quick. Uh, Salt Pitch Perfect. <laughs> first thing. <laughs> first thing <laughs> no. Uh, first thing is uh, a, an app, an iOS app that is really interesting. We are post Halloween now, but this is a really interesting, kind of scary experience. Have either of you guys heard of Blindside? Nope. No, not based on the Sandra Bullock adorable <laughs> football movie. Love that movie, actually. Uh, but it is uh, really perfect. interesting. It's not Facebook. The concept, it's a, it's a game, but the concept is that you wake up one day and you're blind. There's some kind of craziness going on. Everybody's blind. So the way you play the game is you put in earphones and you hold the, your Ooh. phone out in front of you and it's all Genius. audio and you're supposed to close your eyes <laughs> and you move forward by pushing the top of the phone and you move backward by pushing the back of the phone and it's all like wow. you'll hear yourself That's moving so and you great. bump into things and then you tur physically turn your body to turn and the audio will tell, will, It'll change, you know, there'll be like a humming fan or something wow. and you'll turn. Um, That's cool. Idea is far better than the execution, unfortunately, mm. but I want this to, to engender more <clears throat> experimentation in this area. I want there to be more games and more apps that try this kind of thing. It's such a brilliant concept. I just wish the voice acting was a little stronger and the sort of audio design overall, which this rests completely on. I wish it just was, the story could be a little bit better, but it, yeah. it's a scary thing. Like people start, there's you know a growling over here and you have to turn and walk toward it. And it's cool because the guy's not used to being blind. So he keeps bumping into stuff when you walk forward. He's like, oh, oh crap, that's my dresser. And you're like, uh, and that's how you find things. But you could do a whole series of text adventure type games, you know, the old Zorks of the world, you could do it like this. Yeah. And I think you could also implement voice com commands, which yeah. would be amazing. If you and then they like, could add visuals to it. It could be and a then game. A controller. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was really cool. And the other that thing, sounds, I think awesome. we're all on. The that. other thing I want to mention that's on my radar, it's a little self-serving, but I, if you'll indulge me, uh, I'm in a web comedy right now that oh, is yeah, yeah. been coming out four episodes are out right now uh, if you would like if you would put it on your radar I'd be grateful it's called uh, ground game and it's on the yum yum f network you can see links to the episodes by going to my website jeffcanada.com um, cool and i think it's really fun and funny it's about small town politics and yeah i'm proud of it in a nice. funny way like the office or yeah. Parks and rack i mean it's it, yeah or, it's very much those yeah. that style like understated but yeah. it's a, it's a fun Fun show. That's cool. I'm gonna do something that we say we will do a lot and don't often do, which is Take a lot of times we say we are, <laughs> first off, both of those go hand in hand. Uh, <laughs> it's a two-step process. Two-step process. First step, pants. Second step, brainstorming. Uh, which also is how I brainstorm, so it kind of makes sense. Wow, when you guys understand There's the so many different this. layers. Yeah. Friday. Yeah. Uh, or, yeah. Um, <laughs> We oftentimes, with big games that we review, we mm. always say, oh, we're gonna check back in with this game. Yeah. And uh -huh. most of the time we don't. Well, I'm <laughs> going to do that with this. I've been playing the crap and continue to play the crap out of Guild Wars 2. Yeah. I'm a level 61. Well, that's uh, only because you're paying the subscription fee to oh, Guild Wars 2. Oh, wait a minute. Am I right? A, there isn't a subscription no, fee. You just play Shasta. it because you want to. I play it because it's there. Uh, the, when we... The, there are things that you can't, that, that with this game you don't get right out of the gate. This game changes the way that you will play MMOs in such an inherent core way that like a lot of massive changes, there is friction points. There is, why don't I get to do the thing that I did before? Why is it that I have to do it this way? I don't like that. And what you come to find out is the more that you get into it, the more you realize this is how all of all games should be. If, if there is a co-op game out there, it should act in ways that Guild Wars 2 act. A couple of the points that really make this game shine, in my opinion, it's not a perfect game at all. Uh, the fact that in an MMO, one of the biggest problems in an MMO when you're playing with your friends is you, you, know, you can't play for a couple weeks, you can't play for a couple days. I got time off and I'm just sitting around and all I want to do is play that game. So I play the game for five hours and guess what? I now can't even play with 
my friends. Because when I go to the thing that I've already done, I'm so high level that you're not having fun because I'm just killing everything in one shot. I'm not having fun because it's not really fun to kill everything in one shot. And you've already done and it. And you've already done it. You know, it's like, eh, 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 eh. This game auto levels you based on where you are in the world. Right. And it is such a genius implementation because it doesn't matter what level you are. It doesn't matter. You can go play however you want. The other thing is there are so many different options for areas to go to that you can just decide, well, we'll play this area, and while I'm not playing with my friend, I'm gonna go play this other area that we would never have ever even gotten into <laughs> to begin with. Genius. Also, not ever running to turn in a quest. You never turn in quests in this game. Everything happens in Moving the forward. event that you you just discover things happening, and then you you choose you can choose to do them or not do them. Up to you. Uh, and all, it just, it's so seamless. Not a great, you know, it's, it's a flawed game in a certain, in many ways, the, you know, the skill acquirement stuff is really front loaded. So by the time you're into your 20s, you're really not getting much of, mm. of from the leveling, um, which, which I don't like. Uh, but I've been having a blast, a blast. I'm a 61 guardian. It's amazing, wow. super fun. Can't and I've been playing with my buddies and just hopping on and you're dropping and dropping out. It's it's really it's seamless. It's great. So I've been having a lot of fun with uh, with Guild Wars too. Awesome. Uh, so I think that's it, guys. That's what's been on our radar. Quite, quite an on my radar. It's yeah. a big one. And candy, lots and lots of candy. Always on Is my radar. Do you have a favorite un underutilized candy? You can't talk about it now. Uh, candy corn. <laughs> All right, everybody, be sure to stick around. Uh, we're going to be answering one of your Twitter questions right after this, but first, we want to thank our sponsor. Woo! It's Jack Threads time! Mm, what does that mean? That means people have been sending me things to do. What's the new So one? why are they sending things to do, Jeff? Is there... We're doing a big push for yeah. Jack Threads right now. We want people to sign up because it really will help the future of our show because they're finally watching mm. our ads. And you've heard me make a fool of myself, so I'm, I'm upping the ante and letting you decide what I do during the Jack Threads ads. So you have to sign up for Jack Threads. Send in Send an email. in a picture, an email of you having signed up for Jack Threads with a suggestion for a way for Jeff to do the copy right now. What do we now. get this week? Uh, some, they want me to sing the ad. To, I, they and didn't and specify a tune. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Jeff Kanata. Jack Threads has quickly become the online shopping destination for dudes. Oh God. For dudes. I hate this song. <laughs> Everything on the site is up to 80% off because full price is for suckers, suckers, suckers. <laughs> they serve up killer contemporary and street apparel, accessories and gadgets too. Brands like Converse, Penguin, Nation Fans the Hundreds, John Varvato's Creative Recreation New Era. Mostly tries. <laughs> well, I have to tell mm. you all about shopping. It is stupid simple when all the styles are curated so buyer's remorse just doesn't happen. <laughs> You'll want to update your full wardrobe at Jack Threads as a Jack Threads member, if you refer a friend, you'll get ten dollars, and that is really great. <laughs> it's a you shopping really credit. Rhyme, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Even with grand. <laughs> What's more, as a viewer of TRS, you can skip the membership waitlist and get instant access. Where? Where? At jackthreads.com/trs. <laughs> DRS. <laughs> DRS. Nice. Very good, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Gentlemen. So, Canada, ladies and gentlemen. I have no it. dignity. Yeah. Continue sending in things. In Maybe people might just want to say, hey, Jeff, say it regular. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> we're going to get that. Style. I don't think we're going to get that. Join us tomorrow for our review of Wreck It Ralph. Today's Twitter question comes in with the hashtag TRSQ. From Scott Keys at like underscore car underscore keys. That's probably what he says to everybody when they're like, what, how do you spell your name? What's well, like the like two and one T? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this is more fun to say. <laughs> <laughs> Batman or James Bond? It's interesting because a lot of people <clears throat> are comparing Skyfall 
to Christopher Nolan's Batman, and Christopher Nolan had said that he wanted to do James Bond. So it's funny apropos. that we should get this. It's very apropos. Interesting. Um, but we're not doing the character, like, what's a better character? Who's a better character? This is like, what's the better is it who, you, who, like, I who would be? you want? No, no, no. It's like, who would you, like, like if somebody could say, go read a Batman comic, I think it's go just, play even just a Which character do you who, like more? What do you, yeah, which? All Batman right, three? or James Bond? Yeah, here we go. One, two, three, James, James Bond. Bond. Yeah. Pretty. Wait, now why? The If it was who I want to be, James Bond is basically Batman with all, all the psychoses. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Although Batman's not, cooler, though. Although James Bond's not Why really is like a millionaire. Cooler? What's the cooler? But he doesn't need to be. <clears throat> What's the, yeah, the like government is his. He is probably makes it pooped. He probably gets paid a lot for those missions. Uh, he's a government agent. He doesn't need it. What does he need it for? His Q gives him awesome cars. Right. He gets he gets to That's stay in point. the coolest What's places cool all around Batman? the world <laughs> and gets chicks. What's cool about Batman? What's cooler about Batman? Yes. He hangs out in the dark and dresses rad. That's what you would like to do. So you want to be no. emo? What? No, I'm saying we you established that it's not who you want to be. Oh, wh why do you like Batman more? Uh, oh yeah, because okay. Yeah, hangs out in the dark. And but yeah, it definitely James Bond is cool. If you were, if it was yeah. who you want to be, it's James Bond because he's Batman without the psychosis and yeah. he gets yeah. to play like, baccarat. But you like psychosis. You like reading about psychosis. Yeah, I, I, and I like the superhero-ness of it, and I like mm. utility belts, and I like caves, and, caves, and got, I like... James Bond's got some great-ass utility, great utility caves belts. James Bond. No, I and agree. Caves. Why do you guys hate on Batman, then? We I just prefer Batman. James Bond. We prefer James Bond. Thank you, Scott Keys. I like cars. It's because you guys are not real Americans. <laughs> okay.